Hello everybody, Slime Ninja 4444 here bringing you another review. And today it's going to be on my, the last of my 2005 Titan reviews, Kitanzu right here. So yeah, and right here I tried to get him in the pose he was, like, I think it was in the middle of, right here I'll show you this pose right here that I'm just, just, I tried to get him in this, sorry, this pose right here, but, so, yeah, no, I don't have the box, because my mom made me throw it away, which she knows nothing about, oh, Lego and Bionicle collecting, nothing at all whatsoever, so let's move on to the instructions. First off, right here you have Kitagu running through a window, this window is yellow, and all of the Titans has the same background, only the windows different colors to match their color scheme. For Kitagu it's yellow, for Rudaka it's blue, and for Sidorak it's red. And you also have this nice web pattern that's also in yellow. And right here you have Kitagu with Metro Nui on the top. Then you have step number 8755, Lego Logo, Bionicle, www.bionicle.com. And now, and on the back, you have an ad for Legends of Metro Nui, and then an ad for Web of Shadows in 2005, which it has already been out. Alright, here you have www.bionicle.com again, and again the Lego logo. Here you have a picture of Lee Khan handing Vakama a toast stone in his forage. Here you have Vakama, no Kama, and Matau riding Kikinalo. Here you have the the excited Toa after they've just defeated Teradax. And here you have Lee Khan standing over the horizon with a Toa stone. Alright, now let's move on to the center in the instructions. Here you have Kitongu in a nice post firing his spinner. Like I said, that's the pose I tried to get him in. And, so yeah. Now, bag number one builds the torso and the head. So, yeah. Alright, so once that's completed, bag two builds the legs. Alright, so once that's done, you move on to the arms which is bag number three. The arms are probably the best part of the of the th of the 2005 Titans because they have the weapons and I think the 2005 Titans weapons are actually pretty cool actually. I really like the weapons for the 2005 Titans. Alright so first what you did, did is you built the the one half of the arm and then the claw blade which is pretty cool now you move on to the better weapon which is the spinning shields first you build the side of the arm, the side of the body or whatever then you start building it it's actually quite similar to Root Daka's weapon alright then you put that on put the rip cord on the back which is what that is, it's the rip cord. It tells you to point it up instead of down. It probably would have looked way better if it was down, but you know, I had to follow the instructions and be true to Bionicle Storyline, so it's up. Here you have the other two Titans, you have Sidorak and Rudaka, who I have already reviewed. You can check out the reviews on them. And again you have the window, this time it's lime green, because there's two titans here. Alright, now turn the page, there's the instructions for Centrac, the Dark Hunter, which you can build by combining Sidorak and Kitongu. A note is that 
No, this is, after, this is only part of the said track instructions. To get the rest, you'll have to get Sidorak and follow his instructions. Um, the, sh the shadowed one, which is the combination for Kitongu and Rudaka, all the instructions are in Rudaka's instruction manual. And Volparak, which is the combination for all three of them, you can just, what you could do is you could just go on lego.com and get the instructions. They're not in any of the Titan instruction manuals. Also, they sell Volparak, actually, as a separate set with enough pieces to build all of the Titans separately or together. As Volparak. So, yeah. Anyway, first you have to build the torso right here. Notice on Centrax, this is the head right here, I believe. But I always get mixed up and think this is the head. Which is strange, actually. And, so, yeah. Right, so that's only part of the um, uh, scent track instructions. Now you have an ad for the whole Dika. You have a comma, no comma, Wenua, Aniwa, Matau, and Nuju. Here, and here you have an ad for the Viserac. You have Volterac, Roperac, Bugarac, Sukarac, Kilarac, and Unarac. Notice on the Viserac, this is the... When I got my first Viserac, it was actually Volterac, not Bugarac. I have Bugarac now, but with the Viserac, it's the one occasion where I did not get the water one first. The reason for this is because I got Sidorak in a collector's pack, and so I got, and so I didn't get Bugarac. If they sold me Daka in a collector's pack, it probably would have been Bugarac, though, but they didn't. Alright, so in here you, you have the back with the movie ads again. Alright, so that's the instructions, and again, my mom made me throw away the box, which means she knows nothing about Bionicle collecting at all. Now we move on to the set itself, Kitongu. Now you may think this is kind of a nudist pose, which it isn't, so I'll just put it back into the real pose. Alright, so yeah. Actually, I gotta say, he's quite different in the movie. First off, is the head looks way, way different in the movie. I mean, you actually have a face, not just the eye. And though I heard in story on that this isn't his real eye, his real his other two eyes are under it. He just wears this over it, and and it can see good or evil in any being. But in the movie, his eye is blue, but here it's red. I mean, if they didn't even have to make a new mold, then it probably wouldn't even have been that hard to make a new mold. They could have just used a different color which is transparent blue. And this also proves that these little things right here should also be blue and the Rotuka spinner should also be blue instead of red. Also, his armor is pretty pretty you know, like brown and rusty in the movie, but here it's like goldish, shining, stuff like that. His head is quite different actually in the movie. It, so is Sidorak's head. Rudaka is the only Titan out of the three 2005 Titans whose head actually looks the same in the movie. But Kitongu and Sidorak, their heads look just exactly, completely different in the movie. Well, yeah. And again, this is the ripcord, so what you have to do is unpeg it. Like that. And to do this, you just flip this forward and the torso falls forward. And you, you just insert, insert the rip cord right there, and you just fire it, pull it out as fast as you can, and it launches the spinner. I'm not going to do it now, because I don't want to have, like, to spend, like, a long time looking for it. So, yeah. And, you, you can't just, and you, you can't just leave the rip cord in there, or else, see, like, it's not going to, you can't close his torso. 
and the ripcord pegs on on his back and again the instruction manual tells us to put it on like this instead of where this part is down which is pretty stupid actually and and now the code on the spinner I heard I do remember that on the ins on the box although I don't have it it said you have to add a KT5 before you add the code on the spinner anyway here's the code on the spinner right here so I know the camera just isn't gonna focus I can't focus the camera or at least I don't know how to or the camera just can't focus so I'll just translate it for you the code is AED B T R. I will repeat it. A E B no wait, A E D B T R. Um, so yeah. And I do speak a little bit of Bionicle. I know most of the Bionicle alphabet and know a few words and prefixes for Bionicle. But that's only in Matoran and plus there's a Gory. They we don't know their alphabet and we know a lot fewer words for a gory. So yeah. Anyway, I did mention that this that this this weapon is very similar to Rudaka's. Well, it is. It's basically designed the same way. The only difference is that these pieces are shorter and they use Pohatu claws instead of Nuvok cow shields. But still, if you turn it like this, you get like a cool idea. I heard that from Storyline that his spinning shield can absorb other blows and he can throw it back at them with his Rotuka spinner. And in the and the feet basically like triangles actually. And it's very easy for him to stand up. It's much easier for Ru than Rudaka. Rudaka is quite hard to stand up actually. I did mention that in my Rudaka review. You can check it out if you would like. And so, yeah. And you do have the yellow Toa Metru feet right here. And you don't have pistons in the legs, not just yet. Because the pistons in the back of the legs won't be um, put, put into the set until two, the 2006 Titans come out. And they're already out. So, yeah. But still, he has, I think, I don't remember his piece count, but he has like 203 pieces, I think. I, I do believe it's 203 pieces. If you would like to post a comment on how many pieces you think he has, please feel free to do that. So, yeah. And, yeah. Anyway, I, anyway, I just, I'm, Christmas is coming up, and I'm going to make a lot of Christmas stop motions, regardless of copyright infringement, so, um, so I'm, I'm gonna use Kitongo with Santa Claus, one of the Christmas stop motions I'm going to make is, with a bitch nigga Christmas, which is what Hookie999 used for his Christmas special last year, hi, I wanted to do that for a long time, but I have to wait until Christmas to do so. So, yeah. Anyway, back to Kitongu. Also on the legs. Like all the Titans, you have the Roxy limb for the legs. But unlike the other Titans, you have, like... For the other Titans, you have... The... The, um, Visorak... Um, foot for neg armor... Like, here you have, like, this motor piece. I'm just call it, gonna call this the motor piece. So, yeah. Huh. Also, back to the combination models. I have built the Shadowed one once and reviewed him. However, the review isn't as good as it is now because I didn't have my 15-minute privilege. And it was on my old account, so it was terminated with all my other videos for copyright infringement. And it, it was terminated, not, it wasn't one of the videos that was actually caught for copyright, but it was just, but it and all the other vid videos were terminated for too many copyright strikes. Note is that Bionicle is not considered copyright by YouTube. You can upload as many Lego and Bionicle videos as you would like, and it, YouTube just isn't going to care. So, yeah.
Anyway, yeah. Anyway, now it's time for the ratings on Kitongu. Ratings, I rate him a 9 out of 10. All the Titans are 9 out of 10. You should definitely get Kitongu. He's a really, really nice set. Get all the Titans, all three of them. Also, get duplicates if you would like. So you can build the combination models without taking them apart. Like I said, I can build any of the Titan combination models. I can build Centric, Shadow One, or Voparac because I have all three of them. But I just didn't build them from the start because I think t the Titans are just a lot more better quality than the combination models. Plus, these pieces that are from 2007 or earlier are really breakable. So I don't want to break them. And I don't want to have to be the one to tell my parents I need new pieces off of Bricklink or Pieron or something like that. But anyway, yeah. Anyway, I uh, rate Kitongu a, a 9 out of 10, and he's a great set. Definitely get him. And I like all the 2005 sets, although a lot of people strongly disagree with me on that and hate them. But still, I quite like Kitongu and all the 2005 Titans. So anyway, this is Slime Ninja 4444 signing off.